what are we talking about when we talk about stress? So you can hear even when I'm speaking right now that I am stressing words and I am reducing words. So I'm making sure that you can hear me. Okay, I'm making sure you can hear me. I'm making sure you can understand me, right? So if you start to listen to which words I'm putting emphasis or stress or making it stronger, um, remember from our previous lessons, how do we show or how do we show that something is stressed? How do we stress a word properly? We say it louder, longer, and more clearly, okay? So there's one thing that starts all of this off and that you should know about English in comparison. So for example, if your first language is Spanish, Okay, many of my students are Spanish native Spanish speakers. So, and, and I have students from all over the world. So if that is not your first language, don't be offended. But if your native language is Spanish, for example, what happens in Spanish is that each word in the sentence has a stress. And I said, that like that so that you can see the movement because that is what happens in a Spanish. Okay, these are pretend words. So word one, word two, word three, word four, word five. These are just words, okay? What will happen in Spanish, for example, is that each, let's say there's a stress there, stress there, stress there, and a stress there. Each word will have a stress. It could be in any part of that sentence, but each word will have a stress. So the language sounds like this a lot, da, 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 like that. So it's very even. And the space here and here and here and here is normally the same. So if you are not a native Spanish speaker and you listen to Spanish, what you will hear, the music, right? The music of the English, of Spanish, da, 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 sounds like that, okay? Da, 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 and it's even and it's regular. And the spaces between, so we've got stress here, stress here, and these spaces are even or the same, okay? That, and that's very important, okay? Now, when you look at something like English, we don't have that, right? So we've got, let's say word, 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 word. And maybe this is a noun, so we're gonna stress here. And this is a verb, so we're gonna stress here. And then this is not, so we're not gonna stress. And then we're gonna have something here. So what you will hear will be da 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 And then these spaces, this might be longer and this might be shorter. So you're going to hear a different cadence. It's not going to be spaced in the same way. Okay, so the most important part about understanding the difference between English and other languages, and by the way, your language may be the same as English, where there are stressed words that take longer to say, and then there are reduced words that are shortened or weakened, okay? And then the sound and then the sound of the language is not da, 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 da. it might be da, 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 right like that. So it's a little more uneven. So in Spanish, it's even or regular whereas in English it's not, it's uneven, okay? So we're going to stress certain words um, and not necessarily every syllable or every other syllable or every word, okay? Hopefully that makes sense to you, but I feel like once we get going and jump in a little bit more with this, that it'll become a lot more clear. Mm -hmm.